Who's going to last longer as a starter? Sam Bradford, who has Josh Rosen there, or Tyrod Taylor, who, you know, the Browns took Baker number one overall. And I thought, and they're like, what's your answer to that? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm going to let the boys answer, and then I'll mm. decide. What yeah. do you got? It's Smart. a great debate because both coaches have come out and said that someone else is a starter, but the fans might be saying otherwise. What's really going to matter is how they play in August and how the veterans respond. I'm watching these Sam Rosen interview clips from the weekend. That's fine. I'm looking at what the other players are saying. Chase Edmonds is a late-round running back out of Fordham. He's like, he's like, Josh Rosen is a dog. Yeah. And he goes, he's got an ego, but I like it. And this is like a rookie oh. saying, I like this guy. Christian Kirk grew up 15 minutes away from the facility right there in Arizona. And he chose to go with the team hotel and stay there at rookie camp because he wanted to bond and room with Josh Rosen. He came away saying Josh Rosen's amazing. So He was throwing him the rock? He's throwing All him the camp. rock. So I'm looking at it, and Baker Mayfield's going to do the same exact thing. And to me, if you're asking me which one is a better shot at starting, I do believe it's Mayfield mm. over Rosen. But that's because of the quality of starter that Sam Bradford is yeah. when healthy. I feel like Bradford won't be. I think that Mayfield might win that job in camp, mm. beating out Tyrod Taylor. Yeah. I, you know, I, I got to say this. We, we try to celebrate everyone. We try to talk really positively. But... The fact is Sam Bradford can very easily get hurt. He gets hurt a lot. He has not played 16 games in about six years. So I look at Josh Rosen. He'll get on the field if Bradford gets hurt. I, Rosen has a job right now. His job is sort of like the warranty for Sam Bradford. It, warranties are not just for suckers at the checkout line anymore. I, when you, know, you try to buy a refrigerator and try to sell you the warranty, right. you're like, no, who do you think I was born yesterday? They bought a warranty. I think Sam Bradford, when he's healthy, has not just been good. There's been times he's been great, like really, 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 really good. Yeah. If he's out there, I think... I don't care how good, how much moxie Rosen has, how much of a dog he is. If Bradford Health is healthy, he's great. He, but he have the warranty. He's one of the best if, 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 as far as accuracy yeah, he's good. is concerned. And, uh, a year before last, he broke the record for completion percentage. Give me a more accurate quarterback in the National Football League. Baker Mayfield. No, Drew Brees. Drew, <laughs> Drew Brees is the only one. He broke his record yeah. a year ago. So you're saying one of the most accurate, by numbers, quarterbacks in the league is healthy. And they did add Pew. They added a guard in the third round. All they have to do is protect Bradford and the job is his. I, I understand that he's the most accurate. And you're talking about that 71% completion percentage year. He had 20 TDs, 5 interceptions, which is good. Not going to blow you away. Um, but I'm looking at Tony Romo, right? 2014, we had that amazing year. Okay. 34 TDs, 9 interceptions. Tony Romo was $20 million on that squad. And Dak Prescott came in, grabbed that position, and never gave it back because we thought that Tony Romo, at that age, was falling apart. Mm. Now, I'm not going to say that about Bradford, but I am being realistic, and I'll echo what you said, KB. It's a rental. Bradford was a rental. Your long-term fix is Josh Rosen. Definitely. So for us to think that he's going to play 16 games, it's unrealistic. And I'm not looking at it from the outside perspective looking in. I was that player mm. where at one point in my career I thought to myself, it's unrealistic for me to play 16 games. And when I started thinking like that before the season even started, I knew my time was coming to an end. Now, that might not be the case with Bradford, but we do know that at some point in the season he's going to be banged up. The question is, what is Josh Rosen going to do when he's in there? And is he going to allow Bradford to get that position back? In my opinion, I think when Josh grabs that position, mm -hmm. it's going to be forever. Mm -hmm. Whoever grabs that position, are we, like, sleeping on the Cardinals a little bit? 100%. Eight and eight last year when you had Carson Palmer banged up. You didn't have David Johnson the entire year. You got to think Mike McCoy is going to want to run the ball. Whatever quarterback does start for them is going to have it made a little bit. Tough yeah. division.